Okay. Welcome back guys. Welcome to Grid 3D and we are resuming something that we thought I've st stopped before which is the uh, Lamborghini car. So uh, the, and, uh, the reason why I stopped that tutorial right there because the things that were remaining weren't what I thought was very necessary like the uh, tire maybe most of you could already know how to make a tire if you're following a Lamborghini Veneno tutorial that's what I thought but I guess I was wrong and so what the what, what we're going to follow now is uh, the we're going to do the wheel brake uh, wheel brakes first wheel, wheel brakes first then the tire around it that'll be a separate one and the last one will be texturing the car from start to finish I know most of you have already thought I've gone like that without even saying any goodbyes but I am still very here I'm here uh, I just had a lot on me lately very busy like ox extremely busy I, I, I can't even explain how it, how it has been for me well I am back now so like I said those three things I will be doing but for now this one is going to be quite short so We'll, so what we want to make now is a wheel brake, like that stuff that's at the back of, sorry, let me just show you guys, open this and uh, image editor, then just go open, okay, it's not showing there, so don't even go to pictures, reference images, 4GT40, let me just pick one, this one, okay, so this is what we're going to make so uh well, mind you this particular red spot this thing is not going to be as fancy as it looks here i'm just gonna do it like makeshifts this thing don't show up and it's not a very detailed car so it won't make sense to start making a detailed wheel brake so we're gonna make this uh disc and the stuff behind it nothing much nothing fancy so uh let's just get on with it so we're gonna start with this round disc like thing here so what we're going to start with it's what what it looks like already so a cylinder so shift a add in a cylinder and add that so once more before i forget this and uh, screen cost keys turn that on so uh now let's click this drop down menu and oh farts i forgot to just delete that so shift a uh cylinder and let's just reduce this down to uh i don't know which one did i use 24. Eh. don't let it be too small shall or else you won't like it so let's rotate this on the y axis 90 degrees and let's scale it down on the x axis to something here Ta-da! finished so thanks for watching sorry i never meant to do that so let's just continue so scale x mm, something like this possibly is this too fat i think it's okay so let's even scale it out some more so if yeah let's leave it like this so uh now what you want to do is give it all these holes but before that we need a clean slate out of this so let's just click this everything the entire face on here and just shift d and let's let turn this on and move this back just leave that there like back so still inside edit mode let's add in another cylinder shift a cylinder and uh, so rotate y 90 degrees now scale this on the x-axis first so now what you want to do go to the front view oh, sorry side side view and then scale then press shift x to only scale on the Y and the Z axis. So let's scale some more. Shift X. Sorry. Yep. So scale, Shift X. So we need, we need to be as tiny as one of these holes. So let's just get that right. So let's move this somewhere here so we know what we're dealing with. So scale. Is this small enough? Yeah, I think this is small enough. Hope it's not too big, Sha. Scale a bit. So, 
Uh, before we do go any further, let's select all the face, the face here in front here. Now let's I press I and inset that. Hold on, do that again. Press I inset so we can have a little face down here. Okay, I think that's cool. Seal this. Yeah. So let's just leave that as it is. So now let's select this one L. Press P, separate the selection, and then take it back, go into edit mode. So what you want to do now is go, take everything, press A, G, move this to the side. Okay, you know what? Before we separate it, let's do let's do that before we separate it. So take that, everything like so. L, 3, and just move it so you can see where this... Uh, in our circle is at so uh, okay let's just what you want to do now is go down here to this uh, spin tool right here hold it and just select the spin duplicates so now before you do this make sure that your origin is at the center of this object just do that or else you get some weird complications so let's just do um, continue so now just click and drag from anywhere and you get your spin spinning of duplicates just leave it anywhere and come down here to adjust it down here to spin so let's put the angle at 360 so it gets an even spread out so now the amount we need I still feel these things are quite too big so let's just increase the amount oops not too much I really don't know how these things are placed they are uh, placement is looking random but I'm sure it's not though I'll just use a different pattern for this so let's increase this to like 14 or 16 yeah I think 16 is good so next you want to do is uh, press A and then press the F3 key and type in merge merge by distance and just hit enter so now you see it has re removed 48 vertices down here so um, what you want to do now is select this L and the one at the back so we can't just be selecting them one by one here that'll be so hard so now just press ctrl i to invert selection so now three is the side view and press the period key to go to individual origins so we can scale these guys down they look too big okay that is looking cool so next we want to duplicate this shift d now scale this out okay the reason why we're doing this is because our origin point our uh what we call it honestly I don't know what to call sorry our pivot point yeah pivot point is at individual origins god now you can you guys can see how much I sweat when I'm doing this so is that period is at uh, okay now it's at medium points so let's just scale that out since we've duplicated it already so after scaling what you want to do is rotate just a little bit to an angle and then hit the period key again, change to individual origin and scale this down a bit. Because if we scale everything out like so, the it also increases the size of each one slightly, not too much though, just slightly. Okay, that's cool. So now let's shift D duplicate again. Don't forget to change this back and then scale it out. Then rotate it a bit. I want to do the spiral uh, pattern for this one I, I don't know what the heck is going on here so <clears throat> now I think this size is still okay so let's just shift D duplicate again and scale it out rotate it period key individual scale it down they don't have to be even sizes you won't even be able to tell because it's very minuscule so shift D again check this one median point now scale out I think this is the last one so rotate it wow these ones the size is still changed dramatically but I think I'm good with it that is okay so now we got our points so let's take this one once again l and l so this one at the back now Control i sorry Control i now hit p separate selection go out select this one first and then 
select okay sorry select the disk first and select this one first second and go to the um uh, sorry what am i saying just select the disk and then add modifier add boolean modifier and then select our points and that's it so this may act weird at first but <clears throat> it will work out as it should be so apply this and take this move this back g x see what we got so it worked perfectly well we got what we need and looking all right so the holes they are quite noticeably larger but we're going to just use it like that so now let's just select this face and then extrude it out nothing much here just give it a little bump here and now insert this let's just extrude this in Control R here, hit this one, bring it back a bit. I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just, you know, trying to make it look cool or something. So, this is what we got. We can now shade smooth this. Hmm? Auto smooth should fix that. Nice. So that's basically what we need for that. So now let's come to this spot here. Hit this and then I to insert like so. Let's leave it like that. So and uh, we're going to select these faces here and then insert them again. But then you come down here to this insert faces and then offset even. Sorry, individual. Click on individual. And then you just control Z that. So now if you do it, you get this weird thing going on here. But you can actually almost fix that by okay, let's just do it small here and then scale on the x axis to get an even cut on the edges. Nice. So now what you want to do next is just extrude and then hit Alt S to move them inside. So you can get a cool uh space right here going on so so next stop we want to move to this thing right here but before we do that let's just delete this guy we don't really need him anymore we don't need it at all Seth and this one's geometry is quite messed up but don't think about it too much it doesn't do anything like really doesn't do anything so uh okay Let's just get on with it. So we're going to here. We're going to use this one. Shift D, duplicate it, and move it back. Sorry, forward, and go to uh, vertex select. You know what? Let's just separate this one. P, separate, and take it back. So now uh, we got this thing going on here. So Shift Z. If you press A, you can see what's going on inside. So let's just get. Okay, something happened that actually stopped my recording, so I'm just going to make this quick to fill in the space in between. So, uh, like I said before, I'm going to scale this up, not too much, go here and just delete these exact vertices, select the outside ones, and let's just separate separated first, P, and go back into edit mode, fill it in with F, sorry, F to fill it in, and then Control R here, add, okay, you can't add look at yet, so let's just use the K knife tool and just cut through here. So if you click and drag, and you can press C to make it uh, give you a constrained line. So, so click and press E to just do that. Click E, 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 E. And the last one E. So now just press enter to confirm everything. <clears throat> so now I want to add a loop cut here. 
like so. So first of all, we want to add one that will just face this one. So press E and then F to bring it down here and then select this first uh, line here and just scale it on the Z axis. And then what you want to do now is Control R, add here and Control R, sorry, add one here too. So take these three now, scale Y and, sorry, scale Y and then zero to shrink it down to be flat then bring this down and just these guys here just bring it down like so so <clears throat> so now I want to add the another loop cut here again so what I want to do now is take everything which is a extrude and just bring it out like so so now what we want to okay let's see let's see oh okay you can see so let's undo that Take this outside one and then X to delete the vertices. We don't need that. It's this one. We need to scale down on the Z axis. So now we just need to scale everything up some more. Mm, not too much because this one is blocking it. See this uh, one right here. Don't mind it. It's already been made. I'm making this part after I finish the tutorial. So don't just uh, bother yourself about that. So now let's continue with this. Let's extrude it out like so and uh going to face select mode select all this and mind you what you might get here might not, what i'm doing here might not be the same thing when the tutorial ends because i'm doing this for the 100th time i don't know it's just our electricity is very, not very stable it's not as stable at all Seth. so extrude this once and then alt s to scale this out and then press S to even the scale. Then just bring it out like so. So now go to the side view. You can see this one is coming out bent like so. So then just select this one, drag, and then hold Control key and select this a hover over this uh, vertex here. Then this one, move it like so. Move it. It's just be straight like that. Then let's go to the bottom and do the same thing. So let's <coughs> move this. Bring this one here. Let's bring this one straight like so. So that's basically it. So now what we're going to do is uh, let's just take this vertex and this vertex and delete that. So let's see. Go back to the, go back to edge. Select mode. Select this one. This one. This one. Sorry. This one and this one. So extrude. Right click to cancel and then drag it up. And then you can now hover over this part to get it to reach there. So now select this one, F, then this one, F, this two, F, then this one, F. Now let's see. I think I've already gotten to where I stopped. I'm not sure, but let me just go on. I'll just cut the whole thing out when it's finished. So now let's take this one and this one. And just move it down a bit yeah that's looking okay so next stop we want to take these faces from here all the way to here sorry forgotten that happens okay let's just do it one by one so now press i to insert this inside inwards and just sorry yeah, extrude, right click to cancel, and then Alt S to scale this inside. Yeah, this is looking alright to me. So now, shade smooth. And I think I added the bevel on the other side, on the other clip, but let's just make do with this. Or, you know what, that's just it. Yep, to me, this is a pretty good looking uh, wheel break. I don't care what you guys say. I'm good. So, uh, next what you want to do now is just... Okay, let's just take this side here. Extrude it. Go to the side view and enter wireframe and just ex move it back. Scale Z. Extrude. Scale Z. Extrude. Scale Z. Nothing much there. We're good. So in this last one, you can scale it on the x-axis too. Okay. This one too is having problems. So let's just 
scale on the X also and do this one too scale X nice so I really need to speed this up because um, this uh, electricity can behave anyhow at any time so that is it so let's go into uh, object mode adding a bevel modifier on this not too crazy so let's add more segments to this like four it's four too much five uh, I think five is cool let's drop this uh, offset a little bit okay just give it something not too crazy I think points two was can do the job okay that's cool so select everything and then move it backwards to here let's see control one okay move it to roughly match this maybe you can scale it a bit on the x-axis if it's too wide for you and also scale it on the y-axis if you think it's too crazy and too fat because I think that also hmm, kind of looks weird though but just you know take it like that once it's textured you won't even notice anything so now let's take this one now and move it to the back to the, back to where it was before now let's move look at it from the other side so control 3 so you can see this uh red seas that are blocking this one so from here sorry let's go from here to here and we're just going to delete that x and delete hmm. no 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 first of all you want to like, insert everything nope don't extrude insert this to somewhere here and take from here to here sorry to here and then sorry ah x and delete the vertices hope i didn't take any from there cool now that you deleted those vertices so what you want to do now is take everything let's move it back up some more so you can do what we want to do so uh take the outsides and the one here too extrude this up sorry extrude on the x-axis first of all l let's see if this okay we need to scale this up a bit and make it wider okay so now we want to extrude again and then oh sorry don't extrude just like that you have to press alt e and then extrude faces along normals so this is what you get press s to get an even extrusion not too crazy just a little bit so we can get a nice cool stuff going on there so that is basically most of what we need well this tutorial was just too crazy honestly no, let's just leave it like that yeah yep it's pretty cool looks good to me i suffered for this and it wasn't necessary for that but i just did and i regret it because of our electricity so um that was that's basically one of the reasons why i haven't made a lot of videos lately and i apologize for that so i guess i'll catch you guys in the next one peace